Welcome to an introduction to straight line method of depreciation. This webinar is going to show you how depreciation works. We're going to show you how to compute and record straight line depreciation. And then we're also going to review whether or not there's a gain or loss when you dispose of it. This is the start of a series that explains four methods on how to record depreciation. We're also going to cover disposals and changes in estimates at the end of this series. So we're going to talk about what is depreciation, how does it work, how do you calculate it using the straight line method, and we'll do some practice problems together to be sure that you're following. Depreciation expense spreads the cost of an asset over the periods you expect it to serve. So long-term assets are not all used up in the period you buy them. And so we spread the cost over the many periods that it's going to serve. As you record depreciation, it accumulates in a contra-asset account, an account that reduces an asset, a contra-asset, and that account is called accumulated depreciation. So let's just get a general visual on how this looks. Let's say we have an asset that we need to depreciate $11,000 each year. We've already computed it. We'll get to that in a minute. But just watch the accumulated depreciation account. Year one, there's the first year, $11,000 of depreciation. Look at the second year. Now we have two years worth in there. Third year, three years worth. Fourth year, four years. Fifth year, five years worth. And what happens to the carrying value or the book value of this asset over time? It's on the balance sheet at a cost of $60,000, but it's going down each year because the contra asset, the accumulated depreciation account, reduces the net of what the book value of that asset is. So as the asset ages, the accumulated depreciation grows because another year of expense has been added or folded in. So you can see the accumulated depreciation and then you can see the carrying value go down over time. What if you sold the asset at the end of the fifth year? What if you got 6000 for it? Well, the asset is recorded at 5000 right now at the end of the fifth year. You see the 5000 circle? That's the net book value. You're going to give that up. You're going to take that off your books in exchange for what? cash, a different asset that's bigger, you would have a $1,000 gain because you're trading a $5,000 asset for cash, a $6,000 asset. So now let's compute straight line depreciation expense. Here's the formula, cost minus salvage over the useful life, and that will give you the annual depreciation. So for this particular asset that costs $6,000 and is expected to have a salvage of $5,000 and expected to have a useful life of five years, what is the annual depreciation expense? For each year, we would take cost minus salvage and divide it by five. Notice that as you get into year two and year three, year four, it's always a five-year asset. You don't change that denominator because you're not in the first year. It's not how many years left. It's what was the life in the beginning, and you use that same one each year. So it's the same in each of the five years. 